Hello, ladies and gentlemen, welcome back to High Media TV. I'm your host, Evan from High Media TV, and welcome back to Late Night News. And our top story of the day is some funny, light, more lighthearted news about between Diddy and Sam Bankman Freed, two particular. But before that, the uh, let's get into our headlines. Firstly, Israel trade strips with Hezbollah as Lebanon reels after its deadliest day since 06. In a blow to Donald Trump, Nebraska governor will not call a special session to change the state's electoral votes. Nebraska governor, uh, GOP governor Jim Pelen off announced Tuesday he will not call a special session to move a win to a winner-take-all system before this year's election, which could have helped Trump. Hurricane Watch starts in Florida as Tropical Storm Helen forecasts to strike Florida as a large and dangerous hurricane. Maryland sues the owner of the the owner and manager of the ship that caused the key bridge collapse. A reminder that this was this bridge was a critical artery for not just Maryland but also the entire nation. So this is a big is still a big thing that happened. And Harris said she would support ending the filibuster to bring back Roe v. Wade and Roe v. Wade style protections. And on to our main story of the day: Sean Combs, P. Diddy. Diddy, uh, Puff Daddy, whatever the fuck you want to call him, and San Bateman Freed are sleeping in the same Brooklyn jail cell. The pair happen to be placed in the same dorm style cell with several other defendants, which is very funny to me. The two are not cellmates in the classic sense of sharing the same small jail room. Rather, they're both sleeping in a large dormitory style room at the Metropolitan Detention Center with several other defendants. The Times confirmed the arrangement through a source, but the Bureau of Prisons declined to speak on the matter. I think. By and large, this is fucking hilarious. Because both of these are smarmy, arrogant dickheads who have ruined, you know, thousands and thousands of people's lives through their actions. And they are both people that both the public and themselves thought were above reproach. And now they are both sitting in a jail cell, both either awaiting trial or awaiting sentencing to spend the rest of their lives in prison it is a very funny thing that both of these people deserve and i just think that's just neat hey thanks for watching if you want to you want to talk to me outside of this video outside of live streams or just be a join the community and be a part of it you can do so at hibmedia.gg slash discord discord links there we'd love to have you and Given the financial situation of the economy right now, I know this is a tall ask, but if you have the scratch to, to spare, please consider donating and becoming a supporter at himedia.gg slash tip. All of our perks are serviced through our Discord channel, including early access videos, exclusive videos, and more. Your generosity is a blessing, and a dollar a month is a boot to my bank account. Thank you so very much for watching. I appreciate you, and have great day.